We've got these terms here, mesas, buttes, pinnacles, and pedestals. A butte is about as wide as it is tall. A pinnacle is taller than it is wide. And a pedestal is a tall pinnacle rock with a sort of an extended cantilevered platform on top. Potholes is another erosional form. When you have extremely fast moving turbulent water, you get this vortex phenomena, and that can literally drill holes in the bedrock. Now that's erosional stuff, now like a depositional. Well, large gravel beds and bars, boulder streams and block field, alluvial and debris fans. You got a gush of water coming through a mountain valley, and then it opens up, discharges into a basin. Mm -hmm. Perfect example is put in Mormon Point, Death Valley. So this is a kind of a useful map. The question is, is the timing of that transition from glacial ice to massive amounts of meltwater, not only its timing in the larger temporal framework, but it's timing also how long did it take that volume of ice to melt and form the volume of water that formed Glacial Lake Agassiz.